All right, here we are. Here we are on April the 12th here, the day after a big storm. It is definitely very windy. And I am trying to clean up this tree right here. This is an orange tree that I have let grow up and let the, the briars and the brambles take over this tree. Here it is. Here's the tree right here. The tree has some flowers on it right there. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Uh, as I remember, this tree has never had oranges yet, but it's just gotten, it's just gotten to the age where it would have oranges, and we have in our mind today the idea of plant, of grafting some of the orange trees to some of the wild rootstocks of the olive, not olive, orange trees that have died, or the, this part has died, but uh, the order, the job at hand right now is to clean out this tree, and I have to do that without cutting it down, but I can't really see exactly where the tree is, this thing here has got me obscured in there. There's a branch right there. There we go, Mr. O Mr. Orange Street. There he is right there. I can't remember the name of the tree, honestly. I wonder if this one still has a tag on it. Does Satsuma sound, sound like a possibility, I want to say it's a Satsuma. I think that I have gotten far enough away. Now it is extremely windy out here. Uh, I think 17 to 20 miles an hour. It's a beautiful day. Look up there in that sky there. Beautiful day here. And uh, so that's the pattern down here. It'll rain like cats and dogs. And then the next day it'll be sunny and windy and uh, the world will dry up here. I've been, I didn't make a video yesterday. I was busy taking care of different things yesterday that uh, were caused by the storm and uh, I've, that's given me some time to think and what I've been thinking about is what what I need to talk about kind of had a day of contemplation to think about it and uh, thinking about what to do. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and I feel quite certain that Jesus instructed his followers to declare his name before men and women. Mr. Bullfrog is talking to us. I hear him over there. And, of course, I want to get to the point when I'm talking about Jesus. I don't want to speak, beat around the bush, or just talk for the sake of talking. And there's nothing that I can think of more profound than the teaching by Jesus that 
our forgiveness for our sins is contingent upon us forgiving each other. Essentially that God will pardon us from whatever sins that we've done here on earth if we forgive others that have trespassed against us. This is the central legal principle of the Lord's Prayer. We petition God and say, forgive us our trespasses as we have forgiven those who trespass against us. And Jesus not only taught that in the Lord's Prayer, but elsewhere in his teachings, he bluntly said, if you don't forgive others, neither will I forgive you. And I want to tell you that, let's see if we can, I want to tell you this, and I'll be blunt about it. If God forgives you, then you've got it made in the shade. That's all there is to it. God is our judge. And God is the one that says, you will enter the kingdom of heaven or you will die and enter a place, a somewhat mysterious place called outer darkness, called destruction, called the second death, and also called hell, and several other words that supposedly mean hell, but are ill-defined as to what happens to those that don't forgive others. We forgive others. If we forgive those that trespass against us, He will forgive us. That means you'll be saved. That's what Jesus taught. I don't need a fancy sermon. I don't need to go to the Bible college. I don't need to put fancy graphics up on my video. It's that simple. Okay, how do you forgive others? Well, in the most simple way, you just say it to yourself. I forgive you. Whoever it is that has hurt your feelings or hurt you physically, I forgive you. I forgive you because Jesus said, if I don't forgive you, he's not going to forgive me. That's, that's the simple teaching of Jesus right there. If I say any more than that, I'm just running, batting my lips together. You must forgive others to be forgiven. Now, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer here while we're looking at those chickens. And I'm going to wind this thing up. Our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and glory forever. Amen. Amen.